O, e, mimari üzerine bir semiyotik okuma ya çalışma konusuyla birlikte e, sizinle olacağız. E, konuyu Samane Esfagrahi e, size anlatacak. E, çok kısaca Türkçe özetlemeye çalışırsam e, bize anlatacağı e, konu Rıza Şah Pehlevi'nin 1922 yılında İran'ın başına gelmesiyle birlikte değişen kültürel atmosfer, e, tarihten bilinir e, Rıza Şah Pehlevi'nin Atatürk ve büyük dostluğu var ve onun e, vizyonunu benimsemiş bir e, yönetici. Dolayısıyla Türkiye'ye benzer e, bir takım hareketler, devrimler e, İran'da gerçekleşiyor. E, bu sırada da e, dünyada bizim modern mimarlık olarak adlandırdığımız bir mimari e, stil hakim. E, yeni malzemeler, yeni anlayışlar e, ortaya çıkıyor. Ve bu dönemde mimarlık da e, Rıza Şah Pehlevi'nin yapmış olduğu e, kültürel farklılıklardan çok fazla etkileniyor. E, ve yeni malzemelerin kullanımını e, mimariye girişini benimserken bir yandan da e, İslami mimarinin öncesindeki topluma mal olmuş bir takım değerleri e, işaretleri e, mimariye aktarıyor. Samane hep böyle bir e, süreci e, size anlatacak. E, mimari e, çok etkili bir gösterge aslında. Kentlerde yürürken, dolaşırken başka bir kente, ülkeye gittiğimizde oradaki e, yapıların bize ilettiği işaretleri bilinçli, bilinçsiz Yorumluyoruz ve e, haklarında karar veriyoruz. E, arkasını çok fazla bilmeyince, yani yan anlamları çok fazla bilmeyince çok farklı mesajlar alabiliyoruz. E, bunları e, anlatacak e, Samane. E, onun sunumundan sonra sorulacak olan soruları ben Samane'ye sorup yanıtlarını tekrar Türkçe e, yapabildiğim kadar aktarmaya çalışacağım. Herkese keyifli bir e, Türkiye Gösterge Bilim çevresi e, akşamı dilerim. E, yes Samane e, The screen is yours. Hello everybody in the name of God Welcome everybody and thank you for attending to this event. Uh, especially if uh, I want to introduce myself, I should say when I was a teenager, 70 years old, I attending to uh, classes and courses uh, with the caricature uh, courses. In this course, we have to um, uh, design conceptual uh, painting as an art. Um, and uh, for this reason, I think more and more about social, uh, social and pra um, political facts. In PhD, uh, Professor Zeynep Ono encouraged me to again think about it as an architecture. Uh, tonight, I want to um, uh, share my uh, information about uh, the period of time in Iran uh, as modernity is in Iran between 1922 up to 1979 uh, with uh, Pahlavi dynasty. Uh, as a, uh, uh, what is the sign? Uh, as a, a, sign, um, a semiotics, if you want, uh, no signs and symbols actually are different shape of words to communicate to people uh, who don't know one special language. These symbols usually generate 
in the period of time for a special group of people. Human use these models of work to communicate to others uh, simple than reading a text. Most of the time, science has a visual aspect, same as graphic design or photo or form. In architecture field, we have translated social or cultural science to forms due to create spaces which communicate to people. If we want to know about concept of science, uh, we should be know that the woof and wrap of all thought and all research is symbols. And the life of thought and science is the life inherent in symbols. These sentences are in fact part of Plato's tutors, Kratius, which is referred to as Sorat by the uh, attention citizen Hermogenes and can be considered as the first philosophical approach to approach of a man uh, to the West. There is no reference to the concept. And science, what is the sign in linguistic theory? The sign is the result of correlation. They know the signifier and signified. Charles Sanders Pierce, philosopher and American sees the sign as something that replaced something, it defined another case with a certain proportion and ability. And uh, as an architect, we should be uh, asked this question, how architect use science for communicating to people? How architect use science? In real, Architects are same as writers who use forms in a state of words. They are usually creative spaces, same as one paragraph in one text. When writer use uh, of new style for telling a story or writing a poem means that society need to new spaces also. In Iran, Nimai poem is a kind of new style of poem which write by Nima Yushij. After some social changes in Pahlavi period in Iran born a new style of poem and literature which named new poem. This kind of poem had a different style of its classic in writing and meaning. In this poem, a style considered to daily life style of people in a state of Hafiz poem, for example, that attention to uh, a spiritual topic. In conclusion, we are witness changes in taste of lifestyle in this period to lead new architecture. How architect use science? For better understanding of symbols role in architecture, the best way is research about a special time in history of Iran, for example. Uh, change is a key word in the first period of Pahlavi dynasty. King in this period tried to change social and religious behavior. For this reason, we have two parts before 1922 and after 1922. Um, people, architecture, and science, what contribution between three words? I believe that semiotics start from people and their behavior. Whenever human belief convert to new method, some changes happen in cultural and social manner. In this time, we have find new signs or symbols. However, some routine signs may be forgotten or change their meaning. If we want to uh, know completely about semiotics, we want to research about the roots. We emphasize that there are no direct references to the concept. After this, until Charles Sanders appears as a first theory of semiotic, providing its comprehensive definition, the concept of science had various meanings in Western history, which we will try to refer to briefly, the word semiotics has its Jewish roots. 
this science is in the realms of science and the meaning research and in fact from vocabulary of medical science that examine the sympathium of disease it's taken by general definition a sign is something that replaces something else to the phrase can mean a meaning instead of something else iranian modernist and architecture we should be focus on these three words as we know modernists in the world during the late 19th and early 20th century modernists concentrate on the rationalist drive from the philosophy of rene descartes rene descartes say that i think so am i and Galileo's physics extend to other realms of human life follow this philosophy in iran after 1922 we are witness of social political changes that cause to new generation of art and architecture. These changes usually accompany by eliminating religion symbols and also convert to ancient history signs to focus on highlighting nationality lives. Sociocultural changes. So many sociocultural changes in this period happened. For example, eliminate hijab by Reza Khan. In 7 January 1938-36, Reza Khan forced two Iranian women to walking in the street with different dresses. Most of the women who don't like this way have to be in the, her home for a long time. Women without a scarf or chador in Iran were signs of modernity. This shift due to eliminate to Islamic science in social and cultural lead to Iranian modernism. Another social and cultural changes, women in this period find new lifestyle and new role in the society. Gender study could explain about it as well when the lifestyle change in one society how can we find footprint in architecture and art? Sociocultural changes also happen. Studying in a school and university for women was a great opportunity that couldn't accept it by family how were adapted to rule it was free. After Reza Khan came to power, this current penetrated deeply into educational level. In particular, when the university was established directly using Western models and girls entered it or went to European country at higher levels, which meant they fully accepted the Western way of life and thinking and later implemented and propagandas this idea. Interesting point is that so many of these changes did by women who try to improve feminine ability in society, especially King of Iran has a wife uh, that named Farah Pahlavi. Another socio-cultural changes also happen. The 2500 anniversary of the Persian Empire with the official name 2500 anniversary of the founding of Persian Empire by Cyrus is the name of the city of celebration on the occasion of 2500 years of the codified history of the Persian Empire during the region. It happened in 1971, the celebration highlighted Iranian uh, RIAE roots and pre-Islamic period. We can see the movie about it in YouTube also, if it's possible.
Okay, uh, we can see this movie in the end of the this lecture. Another sociocultural changes. Uh, mm, the, this ceremony held on historical places in Iran in 1971 to show power and ability of Iran to another country uh, in the world. Pahlavi and modernist symbols. We should be focused on Pahlavi and modernist symbols because uh, architecture affected by these signs and symbols. In the architecture of the first Pahlavi period, looking at the past of Iran is selective. During these years, for the first time, the continuity of the Iranian architectural tradition is broken and attention is paid to architecture of the forgotten period, Hakhamanishi and Sasani era. So many signs in ancient of Iran history and art used in design building in the Pahlavi era. Pahlavi and modernist symbols also happened in the entrance, in the columns, or anything else. For example, uh, we can research about it in this slide. Of course, the architect who used to choose and use the past of Reza Shah's times are mostly non-Iranian architecture and engineer and may not be comparable to the creative architecture of the Italian Renaissance, but similar results can be seen in these two periods, including the brick. We can see, we can be seen similarity between two periods, Renaissance of Italy and Pahlavi in Iran, because in both of them, uh, art and architecture try to uh, focus on uh, ancient uh, philosophy and ancient uh, design. Uh, we want to know about some last signs. For example, uh, at the first, uh, in Islamic um, religion uh, people uh, encourage to be humble to respect to each other especially uh, we can see that in our homes or our building in um, iran pay attention to the grandeur of the building in iranian architecture which was influenced by islam for uh, 40 centuries much attention was paid to humility Sometimes the entrance uh, were even considered shorter than the human head so that the human could bow his head respectfully before arrive, before enter, for example, in the building. With the beginning of the political and social changes, and in order to eliminate the signs of Islam in Iran, the entrances uh, were inspired by Hachamanishi places, tall entrance with the large stones for show the building, show the grandeur of the building. Uh, another uh, something happened in the entrance, uh, use of uh, a sculpture, painting, and uh, something same as this that um, we don't have uh, uh, in Islamic period. <coughs> <coughs> Role of religion in uh, design. Also, uh, excuse me, uh, same as uh, other countries, uh, religion, uh, eliminated little by little, step by step. Uh, with the streets, for example, that mark the extension of the capital's government over the entire border and the countryside, the fort and gates had lost their symbolic meaning. Uh, as you know, modernist attention to people and their physics needs more than spiritual beliefs. In translated Iranian cities, last day by day. 
social science and architecture. In uh, social science, uh, we should be um, find so many signs and symbols, and we need new events. But uh, we um, are research about just, for example, one sign and uh, nature and lifestyle. Uh, if the order of the life and consequently the architectural spaces of the past was divided according to the seasonal and natural order of the life, season of using uh, the reserve had been collected. Houses had summer and winter dwelling. In um, especially in uh, houses, we have uh, two um, different. Uh, spaces for winter and for summer and uh, people uh, lifestyle adapted to the nature but um, accompanied by civilization some new jobs created uh, same men or women uh, employ in uh, offices with new programs adapted to by daytime uh, also, new school students also need to follow a daily routine, which is uh, never so effective in a traditional family life. So many governmental buildings built in Pahlavi era, also these offices need to greet a street due to new product of Western modernity, which named car. You can see in next um, slide, the meaning of uh, modernist sign in a city with the line of the uh, street same as um, cut the cake uh, without any reason just by the form uh, also in home also in home uh, we have so many changes uh, that uh, should be introducing um, uh, some new events or another event, but uh, we have um, uh, just uh, one special thing. I can see um, that on the other hand, uh, we then introduce of utility and sanitary elements such as water pipes and electrical wiring and arrival of the toilets, bathrooms and modern kitchen in the houses. Fundamental changes are made in their design. As you know, in the next slide, uh, you can uh, see that uh, as you know, homes usually uh, design adapted woman need kitchen, especially which has a main role in design home before this time located out of the house. In the corner of the yard or the basement, but after change the role of the woman in society by change rule of studying working same as man kitchen also convert to the main floor. Uh, and uh, it will be a sign uh, as a modernity home. Uh, and uh, in material also. Material, uh, we can see so many materials, um, same as concrete, um, steels, uh, glasses, or anything else come to Iran um, after modernism. But one uh, special material in uh, Iran used in uh, as a structure also as a decorative uh, if you attention to this facade this is a facade of one uh, historical homes in Mashhad of Iran uh, you can see uh, so many design um, a sculpture with uh, bricks brick is very important because it's very suitable it's uh, for all people uh, in Iran and especially in the desert people who lived in the desert of Iran same as Yazd same as Isfahan and, and other cities uh, for this reason people use uh, brick uh, every day for every building but uh, Unfortunately, in uh, 
after uh, modernism, uh, we have uh, so many buildings with concrete and glasses. And you can see that uh, in the uh, next slide. Uh, concrete which came to Iran from the West in line with the developments of modernism in the world was combined with stone which was a symbol of uh, construction ability from pre-Islamic Iranian architecture during the Hakhamanishi period to create an architecture with contemporary Iranian architectural features. We have a um, um, so many features in Iranian modernism, especially for Iran. Uh, the same as uh, material, some, ma some material um, combined with modern material uh, and uh, some signs combined with the modern signs um, or symbols to uh, design a new modernism, modernism special for Iran. Iranian modernism. Another uh, last sign, I think it's arcs. Uh, arcs uh, really um, live with Iranian people. If we ask the brick itself how it wants to make a cover for us, it will say, make me an arc. In this concept, Louis Kahn said these sentences, and uh, Iranian people also use brick and arc, both of them with each other uh, for so many buildings. Here, Kahn refers to the knowledge of the past and believes that because of their special sensibilities and thoughts, they had acquired a kind of knowledge of the inner nature of the object, materials, forms around them. We can see in the uh, next um, slide, arcs uh, with concrete. In, uh, for example, in this uh, um, photo, you can see a railway of Mashhad. Railway of Mashhad um, designed in Pahlavi era and uh, uh, although uh, we have a concrete, we have an arc, but this arc is a modern arc with concrete, uh, not brick or uh, not adapted to the Iranian arc because Iranian arc is um, they are very different uh, in um, for a drawing. Uh, um, I uh, can see that uh, uh, in addition to the structural role, arcs in Iranian architecture played the role of beauty and decoration. The arc had become a symbol of Iranian art, especially in the desert part of Iran where brick materials were more uh, available. But with the political changes of the Pahlavi era and special attention to the ancient architecture of Iran is straight, and vertical line and its combining with horizontal line led to the creation of modern Iranian architecture. The arc in the Mashhad railway building become a symbol of the art of making an Iranian science uh, with modern material. The use of arcs which was forgotten in the architecture of the Pahlavi era of Iran revived the uh, nostalgic sense of communication with people of the city. It's maybe the first we can see that uh, the arc, but uh, most of the uh, building in uh, famous building in Pahlavi uh, era, uh, we can see that uh, uh, combined modern, Western modern, uh, and Hachomanishi. Uh, architecture. Uh, another um, last science, I think, roof and decoration. Uh, we have uh, uh, many decoration in the sailing because uh, Iranian uh, people, especially adapted to the religion of Islam, think that um, sail is very important, uh, attention to the sailing, attention to the roof, 
and for this reason uh, design uh, the roof with muqarnas, with kashi and with so many um, uh, special arts uh, also handwriting with stone uh, for uh, but uh, in this period we have a very simple uh, sailing same as um, just with concrete and color just this uh, in religious architecture do not paying attention to the sky or the roofs is in the line with the paying attention to the sky and being inspired by spiritual teaching uh, for this reason, uh, sailing have been considered for their form, colors, decoration. The Pahlavi era was forgotten along with ap apostasy and the remova removal uh, of religion symbol in architecture and society of roof decoration. On the other hand, modern human attention to human perspective has made the perspective that human being seem more important than the design of the sailing also is very important i think hence uh, we are faced with a uh, tall building uh, that inside the space or even outside it the role of the root is more um, of a functional and a structural role uh, also uh, we can see that in uh, this um, a slide, Muqarnas uh, and Kashi and design so many colors with each other to design the sailing um, that's forgotten now, unfortunately. And uh, about the window, what about the window? We have uh, so many painting in window, coloring glasses and uh, now we don't have uh, this one. Windows have been a valuable part of the building in Iranian Islamic architecture, especially in desert and dry or cold or dry um, areas. Um, means that, uh, for example, Yazd, Kashan, Isfahan, and uh, some um, cities uh, who is in a desert which is in a desert uh, is very important in window is very important role in the building the window was usually designed for religious consideration and climatic needs a small weight usually help the spaces to consume less energy a social religion symbol here is a word called israf israf means that uh, Muslims believe that um, they should save even if they can't afford it. Therefore, the windows were designed only to meet the needs, just for needs. And of course, a lot of effort was put into uh, decorating and designing them. Sorry. But tall and large glasses in the modern puzzles that uh, was the result of the growth of technology causes glasses and windows to become a symbol of progress and scientific and technological ability in the world also in Iran. Uh, in the construction of the Mashhad railway, this change can be clearly seen. You can uh, see them um, a window, beautiful window in next uh, slide in Shiraz and Kashan, in mosque and in homes. Also, you can compare windows in next slide between uh, design glasses with a modern form uh, and um, design glasses in a traditional form. And, uh, also dimension, dimension of proportion, dimension of uh, glasses uh, usually is very little by little and if we have a um, wall com covered with for example uh, so many glasses we have a uh, shadow or we have a different uh, color uh, in um, windows. Uh, because we want to save energy and it's very important for desert building in Iranian 
uh, ancient or traditional building. Uh, shadow, shadow is uh, very important in Iranian architecture, radiation beams, which were usually performed in Islamic and abstract forms, uh, were made of wood or brick. In the Mashhad railway building, the symbols of Iranian architecture, which was forgotten in the Pahlavi buildings, has been executed using aluminium and uh, in the outer part of the window. Also, in traditional building in Iran, we have a um, uh, shadow in um, out of um, some building, but uh, we uh, design uh, these shadows with wood and uh, also with a, um, a special Islami uh, design. You can see that in uh, next uh, slide. Yes, you can see that here. Uh, we have uh, so many beautiful uh, models to design uh, something uh, out of the window. And uh, I want to, uh, in the end of uh, this uh, lecture, um, I want to show you a, a, a special building in Iran that named Abdina Museum. Abdina Museum is a building with the two history. Uh, the structure of the building built bit before 1922 and uh, the, the design interior adapted to the modernism with Hans Hollein, Autrician Hans Hollein and the Suisian uh, group design inside uh, uh, adapted to the Western modern. It's very different between outside and inside. And the museum building was built in the 1911 as a residential house for Ahmad Qabam and was his home and office for many years. In 1933, uh, this house was sold to Egyptian embassy and until uh, 1973, it was used as Egyptian embassy. In 1976, Farah Pahlavi's office bought this Qajar mansion uh, to set up a museum and with the cooperation of Iranian and Autrician uh, engineer, uh, its renovation and uh, Im improvement began. You can see some pictures uh, here uh, from inside. Um, uh, this uh, design uh, adapted to the um, uh, modernism with respect to the uh, structure, respect to the history of this building, uh, and it's very important uh, building in Iran. Uh, I can, uh, you can see another uh, pictures here from the inside of the building. At the end, I uh, want to thank you, say thank you to everyone uh, to uh, with me. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Samane, for your presentation. Thank you, Professor. Uh, I do not see any questions in the box, but if there is any questions or comments to be done, uh, you may write from the chat button. Herhangi bir soru ya da öneri yahut katkı görmedim ben sorusu olan ya da bir şey söylemek isteyen lütfen yana yazabilir mi? Evet, soru yok zannediyorum. Do you see the questions, Samane? Yeah, okay. Uh, 
Are there any indicators products with the new technology in a way that is suitable for modern uh, life keeping control living the life? Mm. Yes, if uh, we want to explain about last sign, we should be uh, divided to two categories. Category one, last signs, and uh, category two uh, means that forgotten signs or um, change signs. Some signs in Iranian architecture, Iranian modernism, uh, changed to new definition. Uh, Maybe you can talk about material and uh, the change of material you may speak about with the modernism, uh, Samaneh, as a change sign, uh, but not the form, only the material itself is changing. But as a lost sign, uh, they are culturally alive, still meaning the same thing because uh, culture get used to those signs that has been forgotten during Islamic architecture period, isn't it? Um, maybe, yes. Uh, maybe we have a, a different shape of, um, for example, brick here and now at the moment in uh, buildings also. Uh, and it's not uh, forgotten, uh, but some um, uh, cultural signs uh, really uh, forgot. For example, uh, in um, so many homes in Iran, you can uh, see the doors um, smaller than your height and you should be below your um, head and then enter the home. But today it's not logical for design something same as this. It's the signs of respect in Iran. Another thing, uh, water. Water is a uh, sign, a really important sign that uh, design in the heart of the every homes, every houses, especially in desert, desert houses. Also in some um, cities uh, that don't ha have a very warm um, and dry um, weather uh, again we can see that uh, water we can see that there were the little um, pools we, in Iranian same holes uh, uh, because uh, the water in a home is uh, a sign of uh, being uh, God loved us or anything else or uh, also in uh, so many rural places uh, people praying for what for rain praying for rain because uh, it's very uh, common also now also now it's common uh, and in the ancient uh, building also we had a god of the water anahita uh, we have a god of the Water is very important. Water is very important, but now we don't have any um, uh, anything that show these signs in our houses or any building. Also museum, also public building. We can see something same as this. Yes, thank you. There is an, another question related to the colors. Uh, the colors of the building were interesting, according to Alevojan. And she is asking that are there any special meaning while using color? Does the color come from the material itself? Or do you use special colors to indicate or um, tell something as a sign, I mean? Yes, uh, after uh, Islam come to the Iran, um, something avoid, um, uh, avoid something same as sculpture and painting. Also now, also now, so many religious people don't like painting, especially portrait, portrait of the people, portrait of the, uh, for example, dogs, animals, or anything else. For this reason. 
uh, Iranian architecture and Iranian artists um, create a new um, way to design and decorate uh, their building named Islimi. Islimi um, means that um, drawing uh, some um, uh, a special painting adapted to the uh, flowers, not uh, animals and not humans. Uh, for uh, and then it's improve year by year, and uh, we can see uh, so many um, a special design with Islimi design, uh, special lines. Um, uh, find each other in um, um, so many points and um, it helped to architecture to create to be creative more and uh, about uh, colors we can uh, say that um, adapted to the nature uh, architecture use uh, um, uh, color nature color uh, for example blue um, and um, I uh, mentioned that water is very important, okay? Bulu, same as the water, is very important because the meaning, uh, this has a meaning of uh, clean, this has a meaning of uh, spiritual uh, signs, uh, same as the isn't water. Blue, isn't blue, it cannot be considered as devil eye? Uh, do, don't do you have something called devil eye uh, by means of blue um, by means of using blue we can protect our buildings and homes yes. yeah uh, the, doesn't blue has a kind of meaning like this maybe no, i think it. it's a sign of turkish people i don't know exactly in iran uh, but uh, uh, especially in mosque uh, design with blue uh, and light um, uh, is uh, in a special, uh, especially in a religion period. After the Qajar, Qajar uh, affected by a modern and um, inter uh, yellow and orange to this Islami design. Uh, but it's a very long story. Uh, for uh, how a uh, color uh, started and then what color added in, for example, Saljukian um, period and after that Ashkanian period after that and every uh, in every period of time we have uh, some um, uh, colors as a sign. Okay. Uh, yeah, I çok kısaca e, Türkçe'de açıklamaya çalışırsam İslam mimarisinin e, bir şekilde heykel yahut e, insan figürleri, hayvan figürlerini e, yasaklaması ve onlardaki rengi yasaklaması dolayısıyla İslam mik e, dönemde üretilenler ee, çok e, fazla renk, renkli olamıyor. Ama e, mavinin İran'da özellikle çok kullanıldığını, çünkü suyun çok önemli olduğunu, e, suyun tanrılardan bir tanesi olduğunu, o mavinin suyu yansıttığı için e, çok fazla kullanılan bir e, renk olduğunu e, söylüyor. E, yapılardaki e, renkler daha çok orada kullanılan malzeme ve e, mevcut e, kum gibi malzemelerle yapılan tuğlaların e, kumun renginden kaynaklanan o sarı e, renkleri e, oluşuyor. Daha çok doğadaki malzemenin rengi malzeme olarak e, yapıda kullanıldıkça e, oraya yansımış oluyor. E, daha çok rengin kullanımı böyle. There is an e, 
Ee, evet, bu Göktürk Bey bir ekleme yaptı. Mavi renk zor elde edilen bir renk olduğundan dolayı Batı sanatında özellikle değerli ve uhrevi şeylerin nitelenmesinde kullanılmıştır. İran'da da öyle gerçekten uhrevi bir anlama e, sahip e, Samane'nin söylediklerinden. E, there is an another question e, Samane. E, can we see the? It was Ayşe. nice to see. Ayşe Yıldız, yes. Yes, uh, yes, I can. And another uh, question from Aslı, Samane, about green uh, spaces, okay. uh, the attitude, uh, yeah. I can understand completely. Uh, what's the difference between vernacular and modern design landscape? No. Uh, what is the understanding of green space? Do they uh, consider green space important both in vernacular and uh, modern designs? Uh, Asli is asking. Uh, yes, actually, uh, in uh, especially when uh, you live in a desert, you don't have a water, you don't have a green or green area, and uh, you tree any green area, any water um, uh, signs is very important, especially in um, uh, tra vernacular uh, houses in um, most of the Iranian cities, same as Kashan, Ker Kerman, Isfahan, uh, Shiraz, and also Mashhad, uh, green uh, area is very important. Yes. And uh, Aysel Yıldız is asking that... Uh, yes. uh, I can um, uh, can we see reflections of yes. literature? Literature. Right. Yeah. I think uh, literature um, should maybe it's a basement of the art and architecture. Philosophy, literature, and then art and architecture it's um, my point of view um literature uh, in uh, iranian um, modernist also changed uh, we have uh, so many um, uh, new uh, romans and novels uh, same as modir madrasa so many writers same as jalal al ahmad uh, same as um, You were also speaking about poets. Yes, the change new of poems. Poem. Change poems. Uh, Nima Yushij. Um, uh, these poems also in meaning and uh, in uh, writing. Both of them changed. And uh, for this uh, reason, uh, I think uh, it's completely related to each other. Yes. Okay. What kind of reflections, for example, may you exam give example related to it? Are there uh, I think modernists, I, I think modernists uh, encourage people to think about themselves more and more. Uh, and in uh, this um, uh, meaning of uh, poem and literature of Iranian, you can see that completely in this period of time. Uh, with uh, Nima um, uh, Yushij uh, or Farrokhzad. Uh, Farrokh Farrokhzad is a um, uh, woman uh, who writes uh, something uh, that is a taboo in Iran, for example, and it's uh, really modern, meaning uh, at, um, related to the women and feminine sense and uh, uh, before uh, this period um, women avoid to say something about their um, special senses but uh, Farrokhzad is a poetry uh, that uh, writes something uh, about it and uh, I think it's maybe related to the Uh, eliminate hijab, uh, improve modernity, improve um, social living of women in architecture, in uh, in all uh, around of the aspects of the 
uh, you want. Yes, uh, even you can speak about the women architects. Yes. Uh, their role in architecture, uh, it has been changed, uh, as you have been said, what has happened in literature or poetry also. Yes, uh, Iranian um, uh, women after a uh, Pahlavi period um, dressing different, uh, has a job different, studying different, and in a one time uh, we have a cut in the history and uh, we have a new generation of women who write something um, about uh, private uh, sense uh, same as for or who uh, design uh, some buildings, same as Farah Iba. Farah is a, a wife, uh, a king's wife, and she is um, she was um, uh, uh, studied uh, architecture in French, uh, then married with kings of Iran and come to the Iran, and she's really. Uh, try to improve cultural building, design cultural building, uh, and uh, make a new association, for example, for women, for kids, for disabled kids, or anything else uh, to try to improve the social and cultural uh, ability of Iranian women. Uh, and Farah uh, encourage so many um, architecture uh, and artists to uh, design um, uh, some museum for example carpet museum for example um, art, uh, contemporary art museum by uh, designed by um, Kamran Diba and uh, also, you can see that um, Abdina Museum by Hans Hollein uh, and uh, so many buildings uh, designed uh, with encourage of Farah Diba. Yes. Farah also okay. alive now and uh, she's living, I think, in um, England, London, and um, uh, she has so many um good job and in good memorize in Iranian people yes. especially women yeah okay thank you Samane I thank think you. there are no further questions so we may close the session thank you very much Samane thank you Everybody. There are a, a lot of thank yous, uh, as you will see. <laughs> yeah, good presentation. Okay. Uh, we can see, we can um, uh, say so many things, for example, just about houses, just about uh, women uh, and sign, women science, um, and uh, just about the social science, cultural science, but we don't have enough time and uh, uh, from the every subject just to a slide to a slide and to a slide I should be uh, so we will host you again for you to explain those changes also thank you so much maybe okay. in future so good evening good night to everybody else iyi akşamlar herkese Katıldığınız için çok teşekkür ederiz.